Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this module, we're gonna be setting up our Shopify store from the very beginning till the finish. We're gonna be introducing you to product displays, uh, collection, galleries, and pretty much every setting on your Shopify store. At the end of this video, you'll be able to have a fully functional, scalable e-commerce store. For that, basically I'm going to be talking about two different themes today, one being the Jumpstart theme and the other one being Brooklyn. Uh, the, the reason I chose these two themes because these are the one of the most, uh, uh, first of all these are free themes and, and secondly um, these are really intuitive themes. The first theme, Jumpstart, as I mentioned, uh, if for an example you guys are uh, maybe launching like a Kickstarter or maybe it's a new startup, uh, however it's, it's a one product, single product yourself. Now here is the perfect example of uh, Jumpstart team. Uh, as I said, if you have one hero product, there's only one product you're focusing on. Uh, something like this. I mean, this is this this actually could be an example of uh, one of the stores which is created in Jumpstart. Um, I don't even know what that is. Oh, burrito, burrito. This is something. Uh, this is like a bag to keep your burritos. The burrito keeps it warm. Take your burrito on all the life great adventures. Um, insane. That that's. I mean, imagine if, if someone can sell a burrito bag for fifteen dollars, then pretty much there's everything possible in the world. So for this course, uh, the theme which we're going to be using is Brooklyn. Um, I'm going to make an assumption that most of you are going to be drop shipping into a niche specific store. Uh, for an example, maybe your niche is aquarium and you're selling various random stuff like uh, uh, like plants, uh, like stones and other things to decorate aquarium from inside, maybe lights uh, or anything, right? Uh, so Brooklyn is one of the themes I actually highly recommend for you. Um, there's actually three reasons for that. Number one, it's actually fully free. Uh, number two, it's fully optimized on your mobile phone as well. The reason why uh, the reason why having a mobile friendly theme is really important because we're going to be driving our traffic um, through Facebook, and I'd say sixty more than sixty percent of our traffic is going to be uh, on mobile phones. So definitely having a mobile friendly theme uh, would definitely give you a kickstart. Um, the third reason why I choose Brooklyn because um, Shopify gives you a great, great, great support. Now, let's say for an example, this this being the Brooklyn theme. Now, for an example, if you have to uh, maybe optimize your uh, collections or maybe do a little bit of coding as well, I'm sure a lot of you guys are beginners and don't know how to do coding and all that stuff. So Shopify definitely will give you a head start and uh, help you customize your themes as well. It has a beautiful layout also, I mean, on the on the phone as well, as you can see, it's mobile friendly over here. Uh, there's two more things I really want to just uh, quickly mention about. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous module, when you are going to uh, reach out to people on Fiverr to get your logos created, uh, the size of the logo, the size of the logo you actually need for Brooklyn theme is going to be known that the final output of the logo should be 450 by 200 pixels. Uh, and, and I would always suggest going for a transparent logo. Now, for an example, no matter no matter um, if, if, the, if the hero picture which you're going to be using is going to be black or whichever color for an example, right? Uh, so having a transparent logo really stands out and in my opinion, it, it always looks better. Uh, also, one more thing. I just quickly want to mention uh, here the if you are if you want to get this uh, hero banner made the size of this hero banner is going to be 1200 pixels that that's what um, Shopify recommends for this particular theme something really interesting I want to show you as well over here uh, this this particular theme is actually really intuitive and also one more thing I want to really quickly mention uh, as I mentioned this is a really intuitive theme so what it basically means is now for an example if I am to reduce the size of this the you see how the image actually uh, resizes itself so it basically makes makes your life really easy that way um, here if I make the window bigger then then the hero banner would actually spread to the entire screen 
also having an intuitive theme like this really helps especially in case of mobile phones uh, because there's like bunch of uh, different sizes available it could be an iPhone it could be an iPhone plus or a or a Galaxy plus uh, and then basically the screen sizes vary from very small to big sizes so having an intuitive and a dynamic theme like this really helps this is just the very beginning guys i hope you are excited for for the next module where we're going to be setting up our shopify store back in from uh from from the very beginning till the finish and we're definitely not going to be missing on anything um and uh, and then the feeling you're going to be getting on how how you're actually building your shopify store uh i'm, I'm sure you're going to be loving it and building an empire for yourself so that's it for this module guys i'll see you in the next